RFK Jr. gearing up to host his Night of Laughter fundraiser where comedians and celebs come together to rip wokeness and raise money. And legendary actor and comedian Rob Schneider will be on stage. But before that event, he joins us live right now. Thank you. Uh, this has taken hey. place April 21st. I love this idea, a politician leaning into comedy. What was yeah. your reaction when you got this invitation? Well, first of all, the Republicans are getting closer and closer uh, to getting uh, to doing nothing about Biden and the impeachment. <laughs> They're this close uh. to putting out another mean tweet. <laughs> you, they keeps it up. I'm telling you, they're getting more evidence. There's going to be more tweets. Yeah. They're this close you to want a more real than, meanie. You want more than mean tweets. <laughs> You want evidence? Uh, well, it's, just, it's it's more it's so embarrassing. They should at least have like some you know some hearing where they can just say everything out and in some sort of process besides what they're doing now. Mm. But I, it's just, I, it's really humiliating when you really get to see just how tawdry the Biden family is. Yeah, I mean, I think there's some truth in your point. It seems like D.C., when it comes to the Republicans and Democrats, you seem like goes there's two nowhere. sides, isn't it? Well, they, Doesn't they, it seem like there's two forms of justice in this it, country? There's two forms there of justice. It, it does seem like the Democrats never get held to account, and to your point, the Republicans are to blame. So you're going with an independent. You're going with uh, RFK Jr. Well, Is that one of the reasons well, why? I really, first of all, he's a friend of mine. I really like him, and he's actually talking about things that matter for the American public. What we want to do is not, we spent five times more than they do in Europe for health care, and, and, and we have way worse results. We can't have 60% of the American population uh, unhealthy, 54% of children. That needs to be the biggest story for you guys in all mass media, mm -hmm. the fact that children have chronic illness at over 50%, and that's a 10, 12-year-old statistic. So we have to get people healthy, yeah. and that's the only, I mean, that, I mean, I got little kids, and if, and if that isn't the biggest concern by media, then what is? We need to spend a hundred billion dollars instead of giving it to Ukraine forever wars. We need we can end homelessness and get people healthy in one minute to instead of just dumping our, our money. Yeah. Uh, he's at ten percent though in the polls. He so is ten percent. There, there, the we need to, that needs to get higher. <laughs> it needs to get a little we need higher. to get at least thirteen, fourteen. Well, at least what's going to happen now because uh, he's oh, by the way he's winning for with people uh, uh, thirty four and under and people who can't vote. He's winning. Why do you think that, <laughs> why do you think that is? Because he's talking about things that really matter. <laughs> because you know, unfortunately, our two we get two major parties in America. That's that's one more than China. Yeah. Uh, and I think people are tired of the same, you know, getting offered the same thing. Got, we got it for you again, America. Trump versus Biden. What do you yeah. think of that? Yeah. But, but I think if you l hear him speak, listen to Robert Kennedy. Hear him speak. He's talking about things that really do matter to the to the American people. And when it comes to speaking and being free to speak your mind, obviously you're here on the show, you're attacking Trump, you're attacking Biden. You don't care because free speech is about not caring about the consequences of your actions and well, your words. Be, there should be no governmental right. uh, repercussions for your free speech. That's the whole point of the American uh, the and First, and Amendment. So First yeah. Amendment. Part of your whole attack against wokeness, it seems to me comedians like you, our guy Shane Gillis, you yeah. guys are attacking wokeness. Is wokeness in comedy well, I, on its last legs? Well, well I, I think it has to be. It has to be close to collapse, as my book, good friend James Lindsay said. It's about 12, 18 months before it collapses. The, but it's what it is. It's about uh, it's entrenched power. And like right now, the Democrats have the entrenched power. It's the party. The Democrats now so, suddenly turned to not be the party of the people. Now they're the party of, of forever wars, and they're the party of censorship. And there's a direct proof now, thanks to Elon Musk buying Twitter. Uh, for $44 billion, that was a nice little thing to do on the weekend, <laughs> is that you could see that there's actual, talk about collusion with Russia, we have collusion First Amendment, and of course the Justice Department will do nothing about it, but there's proof that the United States government colluded and told social media what they wanted to do, and that's a direct violation of a First Amer Americans' First Amendment rights. You have a whole book about this too, it's called You Can Do It, Speak Your Mind America, Come hit on. shelves on September 24th. Can, can you say it the you right can way? Pre-order now. You, you can, can do it. Nice. You can do it. Buy my book. Book, please. Really quick, we got a minute till we toss it over to Fox and Friends, but tell us a little bit more about this book while you want us to write it. Well, I really wanted to go after what, what I felt was uh, the, the attack on free speech. And I also wanted to make fun of people. And, and unfortunately, you know, show business has been a, a big uh, part of this uh, censorship. If you do speak out of line, if you are, if you dare to not be one part of the one party system, you're out and you're out forever. So it's nice to see guys like Shane Gillis and guys like me still getting on and Heck yeah. Doing fun stuff. And, and I really think uh, the turnaround's happening. People, the, the mainstream media in Hollywood can't continue to ignore half of the population. People just don't live in California, New York. There's another 48 states. If it, well, Hawaii's basically California 
you know, plus. But sure. anyway, you have 47 states at least that really matter and that care and that there's a people and they want to have interesting, um, you Rob, know, different opinions. Rob, Rob thank you so much for joining awesome us. Awesome to have you Waking on the program. Waking up for a Lee. You look great. You sound great as always.